We'll settle for details of our stories and we start off from the Nuwa Traditional Council and it says it is preparing to defend itself in court over the marriage of a 13-year-old girl to a 63-year-old chief priest of the Nuwa Traditional Area, Gbobu Ulomo Numo Bokete Lawe the 33rd. The marriage between the two over the weekend has sparked calls for urgent intervention from the authorities to protect the young girl. The Nungwa Manklalu Niboti Kofi Frankwa II has defended the marriage, saying it is a long-standing custom mandating that a priest marries a virgin. There's more in this report. The marriage ceremony between Gbobu Wulomo Numo Bokete Laweda 33rd and 13-year-old Na Okromo took place over the weekend in a ceremony steeped in tradition. The 63-year-old Gbobu Wulomo entered into matrimony with Na Okromo, who has now taken on the traditional name Na Ayemwede as per customary marriage protocols in the Ga Adangwe community. The marriage between the two sparked outreach among Ghanaians after videos and pictures went viral, while some support the move, others believe it is primitive. <laughs> I can walk soon, me da. A walk more, you follow me. Walk me in one, no, me to me, and only if you have a shame, how many young way. May I never call it ten to eleven, cafe, may be a mammy in a kind. Eleven to twelve, now me for four. Nature, I can bear now. Baby, me, eh, Mukumacha, boy, Lena cano, ah, lonely, and I cano say you. The men and the way by Nakano, Lona cano, Bachano, a Jane, a back of the Nungwa Traditional Council defended the marriage, saying it is a crucial aspect of its tradition. Yes, the Gobloma has four customary wives. These four customary wives, as we speak right now, one is almost getting to 100 years. The second one is within her 70s. And then the third one is within her 30s. And then this uh, particular one, which is now Yomo Ayemwedi. Now, now Yomo Ayemwedi always always, by tradition and customs, always happen to be a virgin, customary. She attends one of the best schools in Nuwa. She has her own chauffeur. That takes her to school. She doesn't even join school bus. It is, it, the selection process is not random. I mean, it is not, it's not a sexual marriage. It is customary marriage. She cannot have an husband now because she's young. But when she's of age, and she and she's of age and she want to she want to she, she now want to engage in with a man another uh, traditional right and customary rights will be performed but non-profit organization child rights international has strongly condemned the marriage describing it as a violation of the rights of the child for us so far as the law is concerned a child below the age below the age of 18 years cannot be involved in marriage be it to the stool or be it to a person, or be it to whosoever. So they themselves should also know that for them to even go for a 12-year-old child to fulfill this because the person must be a virgin, should tell them that morally, within our society, something is wrong. And, and for me, that is where culture needs to come in to promote the moral values so that they can also get uh, uh, people you know, to be able to perform some of these rights, and those persons should not necessarily be a child because there's a strong law that protects children below the age of 18 years. So we should not just look at the tradition in, in a vacuum. We, we have um, carried out um, a lot of investigation about this matter, trying to understand the different perspective to, to the kind of uh, um, tradition that they, they've taken this child through. 
and we are measuring their conduct based on four things, that whatever they are doing will not hinder the education of the child. Whatever it is will not have a health implication on the child, and the child will not be in a position to be protected. And what is most important for us now that we are pursuing is that the child's consent in the process to whether or not the child is willing to go through that right, because right to participation is one cardinal right that the state requires that we should give to children, and it is clear. Both the Wulamo and the Nungwa traditional leaders have come under fierce criticisms for endorsing the marriage, but have vowed to fight it even in the law court. We are clear in our minds what was done, and if anybody still doesn't feel comfortable and want to engage anybody, we are ready for anybody. Because the customary right that was performed, trust me, within our tradition, customs, practices, and usages, kings, queens, priests, and princesses are even installed when they are in the conception level in their mother's room. Child Rights International says it will continue to conduct their probe into the widely talked about issue. Uh, but for the Nungwa Traditional Council, they are unperturbed about the escalating tension. Well, they say that a second right will be performed uh, to complete the union between the Gbabu Wulomo and Na Ayamwede, the 13-year-old wife of the chief priest of the Nungwa Traditional Council. Reporting for City News, my name is Akosia Otre.